Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for Bench Press Day. So let's get right over into this. Um, surprise the workout went as good as it did. I had a little bit of trouble with my sleep last night. I had a really, really, really eventful day yesterday. Uh, and then so I was a little wound up still when uh, evening got here. So benching went pretty good. I was actually happy with this. I got a five rep set. Now, the, the thing is with this, I did hit the uprights, I believe, on the third rep. As you'll notice right there, I hit the upright. So normally for me, that will ruin a set. But I managed to get five reps in spite of that with a nice good pause on the fifth rep. Um, now, the thing is, when I'm tapping uprights, when I'm where I am on the bench, that tells me it's my triceps. So because of the bar path, um, I'm slid far enough down that I shouldn't have tapped the uprights. So again, that tells me triceps. I've got to keep working triceps. Doesn't mean I'm going to quit incline benching, uh, but it does mean that triceps need to be a high priority. I'm going to have to push these JM presses real, real hard, right? Because really they helped me a lot. If you think about it, what was I doing when I first hit the 365 bench? A lot of pause benching, a lot of JM presses, right? So... Uh, tells me a lot about where I need to be. That also means, yeah, since we need more triceps, we can definitely keep the reps a little lower on the supplemental benching, right? You know, lower meaning I don't really want to go under about six reps. But, you know, we can we can be down in that range. We can be in the six to eight. Uh, so again, did that. Uh, did supersets. So what I'm doing, most of these big lifts, just two really, really good sets. Trying to push two sets real hard. And then we'll get over to the other supplemental work. So after the, the main set of benching, I did two sets of pause bench afterwards uh, for sixes. Uh, then I did my seal rows. Um, seal rows, I'm going, for me, pretty pretty heavy. So I'm only able to do eights. Uh, pretty, much, pretty much all I can do with that. Uh, running a weight that heavy, I believe it's 195. Yeah, should be 195 on there. You know, by comparison, you guys have seen me do normal barbell rows, you know, 245 or sets of 10, you know, three, three by 10 with no problem. Shows you how much harder a seal row is. Um, but it also sa says, look what they bring to the table because look how hard 195 is. It's like 200 pounds, guys. Eight reps is hard. They're limit sets, right? Those are limit sets. I can't do a ninth rep. So it puts in context just how tough seal rows are. Um, and it's, it's one reason they're such a good lift because a lightweight, I mean, you know, 200 pounds for back work is nothing. It's nothing. You know, rowing 200 pounds. Yet it's so challenging here. And you feel it, right? You really, really feel it. All right, incline benching now, even though the benching went okay, the incline is where I really kind of felt the lack of sleep. I couldn't get in my groove on these today. So I did my first set because I always feel like I need one, one ramp up set. No matter what I do, I'm like, well, let me do a 225 today instead of the 205, right? I got two reps and it was hard. Um, couldn't quite get my, get the grip where it felt right. I couldn't get the touch point right on the first set. Uh, so the second set went a little better. I managed to get five reps with it. But, you know, considering what last time I got six, the, the incline was down today. So that's what suffered for the day. The benching was actually fine. All right? Instead of feeling like I almost wanted an extra hour of sleep. Uh, but again, I have to get up early enough to beat this heat. <laughs> Got to get up early enough to beat the heat. Um, the incline benching is really what suffered today, which was interesting to me that the flat benching didn't. You know, part of me wants to say with JM press, I could just do tons of pause benching and JMs. See, I always want to cut that incline out. See, I have that tendency to do that because I don't like incline benching. And I'm going to, when I'm doing it, I want to focus on what I'm doing now. I want it to be crazy strict. I want paused reps. I want control, right? really what I'm trying to focus on. I'm trying to keep that butt down on the bench, right? Trying to keep this, this 45 degree angle, keeping the arch as modest as I can. I'm just trying to get dug in. Um, I'm trying to pause every rep. I want everything to count. The thing to remember here, this is, this is not an exercise where I'm trying to eagle lift. I'm trying to legitimately build muscle and strength on it so that it carries over to my bench. So I really need it to be clean like that. I need those pauses. All right, 
uh, the dumbbell rows, doing what I've been doing. Uh, these, these are a staple for me. Uh, one of my favorite back exercises, one of my favorite grip exercises. Uh, they bring a lot to the table. You guys know how I feel about this lift. I think dumbbell rows are great. I am going heavier on them now for, for a bit. I'm going with, uh, you know, right now, sets of eight. So 125, 125 pound dumbbell and sets of eight is hard on these. Uh, but I get a lot out of these. Uh, I probably feel like I get the most overall back development. You know, at least upper and middle back out of those. Uh, they bring a lot to the table. All right, JM presses the first set felt a little sloppy. So I'm trying to get these lower as close to my face as I can. And I, and I understand my elbows are coming way down. I don't care. As long as I'm feeling those triceps getting hammered. Now this first set, I realized my wrist felt really unstable trying to keep them, uh, the knuckles up. So I went ahead and wrapped up after that. But the first, the first set always feels like getting in the groove on the JM press. So supersetting in between, I decided to do two sets of dumbbell curls. I didn't want to mess with the power curls today. I didn't want to set the bar up. I'm like, I'm going to do laterals. Let me just do dumbbell curls anyways. Same weight I'm going to lateral with. Uh, surprisingly, we got 15 reps with these, right? This is heavier than I was doing before for sets of 20. This is considerably heavier. It's 10 pounds more per side. Yet I managed to get 15 on both reps. And those are pretty much to failure. So 15 is all I have. So I did supersets with two sets of those and then two sets of laterals um, in between the JM presses. All right, the JM presses now I'm trying to focus on getting them closer to the face, getting as much range of motion as I, as I personally can out of these while keeping it heavy. So I went down to the 135, right? I feel like 135 if I can keep improving form on it, I need to just stick with this. I don't need to keep trying to push these up, up, up get up to 185 like I did before maybe I will I'm just saying that now but I felt like <laughs> when I was doing them before that way um, I'm noticing like this this weekend I'm starting to feel a little bit of uh, you know tendon inflammation and it's gone today but I'm like let me focus a little more on, on just getting a deeper range of motion on those let's just really try to light the triceps up as much as I can there's still going to be a big exercise uh, so I'm trying to bring the bar closer to my face. So that ends up invariably for me, the elbow is going down lower. And again, people can argue about how to do JM presses, but doing them similar to that got me to the 135 bench before, All right? I think they can still help me get to that 405 next, but I need triceps. You know, I've got to just hammer the triceps. So that's why I did more volume on these than anything else today. Triceps, triceps, triceps are what I need and I need them strong. I need these big exercises. And as much as I love doing skull crushers and I feel like skull crushers help that long head and they're just a great overall builder, I'm not seeing the bench carryover that I wanted. I'm really not. The JM press just seems to carry over to my bench a lot. You know, and I've found this to be true. Anytime I've, I've pushed the JM press hard is always when my bench gets stronger almost without fail so um, what does that mean it means I've got to, I'm gonna have to keep pushing them right keep pushing the JM press even if I took the incline out the JM would have to be pushed even harder but I do feel like if we go back and look though uh, when my okay again first got to the 365 it was a lot of pause benching and a lot of JM presses now, of course, I'm throwing the extra laterals in. And, and again, a couple sets. I don't need to do a lot of volume with some of these other movements. We don't need a lot. I just need to make sure things like my delts and biceps are growing. I just need to make sure they're getting enough, enough stimulus, you know, just to get my upper body in general thicker. Even though really those triceps at this point, triceps and pecs are really gonna be my bench. I still need this little bit of, of, of pump work in. And it doesn't have to be a lot. A little bit goes a long way when added to your multi-joint movements. But yeah, triceps, guys. I'm going to keep pushing the triceps hard along with the pause benching and stuff. So I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.